pick this up. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Somebody ought to clean that up. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. Okay. Winter break is over. We waited so long for it to come and it just seems like it goes like done. I am out of breath as usual when you see me in my classroom. My room is dirty. I have all of those books back there that I need to return. The kids borrowed over the break. It's a little warm in here. I'm sweating. And like my to-do list is ridiculous. Like if you could see this. And I know I have a camera and I could let you see, but it's too embarrassing. Like I cannot show you what is happening on my desk right now. But I can show you what I've been working on. This is something that um, I normally do when I'm at home. But y'all, you know, I enjoy my break too much and time just got away from me. So I've been trying to set up my planner um, during my planning period at school today. So initially when I get my planner I'll show you what the pages look like and I'm working with the happy planner the um, me and my big ideas happy planner so initially when I get my pages move that it looks like this and I just go through and I add a little bit of washi tape and some date labels. So when I'm done, it looks like this. The cow sticker, that is um, that represents the day that I have the cart, the computer on wheels cart, and then this sticker right here is the day that I go to the library. And then I just make these cute little labels with a pattern um, for the date. So I don't have to hand write that. Oh, and also at the top, I have banners that show the class periods because um, I know you've seen and heard all this before, but I, I divide my, um, my planner into time slots um, representing the class periods. Okay, so I've been doing that. I'm almost done with that. Also today uh, in class, what I've been teaching. So it's our first day back after winter break and I decided to go ahead and start with my article of the week. And I should have brought a copy over here so you guys can see it. One moment. I am doing article of the week um, and this is a concept that was introduced by Kelly Gallagher I believe if I'm messing that name up or I'm getting that name mixed up with somebody else I'm going to put the correct name right here across the bottom of this of the screen but I think I'm right Kelly Gallagher um, does this thing where she takes news articles and um, she has the students do a close read of the article and do annotation in the margins and then write a reflection. Well, Vail Middle School, not sure where Vail is um, located. I'll look it up and I'll put that right here as well. Um, but they came up with this really cool format um, that allows you to organize the article and still leave um, enough space in the margin for the close reading and annotation marks. They also have the instructions, I'll show you guys. They also have the instructions at the top of the page. I'm gonna put this website in my description box because I want them to get full credit. The program that this school has put in place is so awesome. Even over the break, they had articles posted for every week. So if you're in like um, a year round school and your uh, winter break time is different or you, know, you just wanna get ahead of the game, they had articles for the weeks of December as well. So they post articles in this format um, on their website. You can download it in Microsoft Word or you can download it as a PDF. I download it in Microsoft Word so that um, I can change the title from Vail Middle School to Smalls World, but I still notate that that's where I got this from. Um, and then I also tweak the instructions just a little bit because I don't want my students to do a one page reflection like Kelly Gallagher does. I um, want them to do a two paragraph uh, reflection because we share everybody's reflection in class. And if it's a page long, then that takes up too much of our time. But not only that, you guys, it gets better. Okay, so they also include the Common Core Standards that each article addresses at the bottom in the footnotes. And they also write, I'm getting my copies. <laughs> okay, and they also write questions based off of those standards 
Um, and this one actually has two pages of questions that go along with the article. Now, I don't give my students the questions along with the article. We do the article first, the close read, um, and the annotation and the reflection. I do that because if you give them everything ahead of time, they just rush through the first portion and it, just to get to the questions. And then they rush through the questions and then they're not really given um, full effort when they get to the questions. And so I give it to them um, in steps. It's a tiered assignment. We do this, and then we do this, and then we do this, and then we do this. You guys know what tiered means. You're educators. Okay, so, I'm sorry. My email caught my eye. I was like, hmm, email from the principal. It's nothing. It's about the spelling bee. But anyway, um, so that's what we were working on today. We're doing our first article of the week of the year. Tomorrow, we're going to go into standard. I'm looking at my board. Standard five, um, which is talking about how one portion of a text contributes to the larger selection, contributes to the selection as a whole. And I want to go ahead and have them read the information and be um, familiar with it. And then I will pull excerpts out of the article and write new questions to help guide us um, toward meeting that standard. So I know that was a lot, but that's what we did today. Tomorrow note taking practicing with excerpts um and thursday i have it written down somewhere probably review and comprehension questions and then some sort of assessment maybe even through like a seminar and i told you guys about the padea seminars um but you know keep watching i'll go into all of that thing all of those things as the week goes on um, but we're only on day one, so I can't really, like, I don't know the future. I know what my plans are, but you guys know, you guys are teachers. Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way that you plan. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Sometimes it happens quicker. So just keep watching and let's see what happens for the rest of the week. Oh, and for those of you who are interested in the outfit of the day, please check out my Instagram page. Yay! Okay. So I'm expanding to different platforms and I'm a little afraid of Instagram. I have a personal Instagram account, but I don't want to let you guys down. And I think that's why I have been dragging my feet about having um, an Instagram page for my teacher voice, but I finally did it. I'm going to do my best to take pictures of things that I'm working on throughout the week, throughout the, out the month, throughout the year, outfit of the day, because I know some of you showed interest in that. Um, and I think it's a, a quicker way for us to communicate with one another, with one another. And so many of you comment on every single video that I feel like I know you and we have this conversation, like I have this friend that I never met before. It's like having a pen pal, guys. I never thought of it like that, but it is like having a pen pal. And so I want to be closer to you and I want to keep our lines of communication open. So yes, I have an Instagram account. Please look for that link and the tag name in the description box okay i love you guys and i will see you tomorrow good morning beautiful people it is tuesday day oh no no it's wednesday day two back from christmas break or winter break or whatever you call it in your area i am filming with my new christmas present i got a new camera for christmas my husband is so awesome so if my focus goes in and out i'm working on it um and if my volume is different, I'm working on it. And if my eyes are different, like my placement or my eye contact is what I'm trying to say. If my eye contact is different, I am working on it. So my new camera is a Canon G7X. And it's really cool because it's like a vlogger's camera. The, the screen flips up from the back. So where I used to have issues looking off to the side, like this because my screen flipped out to the side i'm now looking above and i'm trying not to look at myself at the camera so i think i may need to just flip it down and just forget about it and just talk regularly and you know but then how will i know if i'm in frame i don't know well whatever so again it is tuesday ah so again it is wednesday day two from the break and um I am getting ready to write my I can statement, my learning objective on the board. And I'm trying to work on my cursive. My cursive is pretty bad, you guys. Like, it's bad. So I really need to work on it. But I'm going to write it on the board and you guys tell me what you think of my cursive. And if you have any tips, like, do you guys write in cursive? I feel like 
as far as teaching is concerned that writing in cursive has become like this lost art now when i was in um in when i started school i was in new york and i did that for elementary and part of middle school and we wrote in cursive like that was you know what we did and i felt like it was pretty good but when i moved to north carolina that's not what we did in school that was not a practice that is not something that was taught and i lost that skill and i want it back and part of me feels like teachers should write in cursive so tell me in the comment box what you guys um think about cursive your feelings about script or cursive writing and if you think it's a dead art does it still have a place in the classroom i don't know let's talk about it so here i go All right, so this is trial number one, and I'm going to go get my camera so I can take a picture. I'm gonna erase it, I'm gonna do it again and see if um, attempt two is better. So I don't have my iPhone, so I am just gonna use my iPad to take this picture. Come on, I don't know why it's so slow. Well, I do know why it's slow because my memory is running low and it's a very old iPad. It's like the very first mini ever. Okay. All right. So I took a picture. Let's try it again. Attempt number two. And isn't this cool? I don't know if you guys have seen this and I'm probably like really late, but it's a magnetized board eraser. Isn't that cool? Um, I actually made a purchase from our local school supply store here, like teacher's supply store, and everything I was buying was Chevron, and the owner was actually working the cash register that day, and he just gave this to me. He said, oh, you need one of these, and he threw it in. He was really nice. Okay, so let's take a picture. Okay, what I'm noticing you guys is that when I'm doing cursive on the board, I'm unable to focus on how straight my line is. So I'm having trouble writing straight across the board, which normally isn't an issue for me. Um, but I feel like this one is a little bit better than the first attempt. I write big and loopy anyway, um, but I try to write a little bit smaller um, and keeping my hand closer to the board and I feel like it, it's a little bit better, but I need some work. I need a lot of work. But anyway, um, that's not even the most important thing today. What I really wanted to share with you guys is how I am grouping the students I feel like this whole video like I'm doing this and looking around because I can't find anything I mean you look you leave school for two weeks and you come back and you just don't know where any of your junk is okay so I don't know I'm gonna sit you down because I mentioned I have a new camera and it's a lot heavier than the camera that I was using so I'm gonna sit you down I'm gonna sit down just give me a second to get my life what I want to share with you guys is how I am grouping my students today. So yesterday they, um, well, let me start over. So I was telling you yesterday about the kids doing um, the article of the week and they have to write a two paragraph reflection. Today when they come in, um, they're going to choose a colored bracelet at the door and these are really cool. I don't know if you guys have visited reallygoodstuff.com for teaching supplies. But um, a couple years ago, they had these colored bracelets and it had this magnetized hook that went on your board so that you can store them that way. Um, but they had these colored bracelets for grouping. So I took out the number that I needed and they grab um, one of these and they grab one of these bracelets on the way into the classroom. 
and so after they are warm up then they will sit with their colored group and they will share their reflections um, as a group and then they will choose one person in their group to share out into the class and then we'll move into our notes so that is my plan today um, maybe if I have time, I will check back in with you guys to let you know how it really went. Now, what I do want to say about these bracelets is some of the kids try to get slick, okay? So they'll pick their color and then they wait by the door. They try to make eye contact with the people coming in the door to tell them which color to get. So if I have a purple one, I might try to tell my friend to get purple so that we can be in a group together. Nah, honey, Miss Smalls is too smart for that. <laughs> so what I do when I see that happening is instead of putting all the purples together, I tell them that they have to have one of each color in their group. And that way, um, I'm separating the friends. You got to get creative because these kids are creative and they're always looking for loopholes and they're always trying to get over. So we have to think fast on our feet. So they never know what the grouping is going to be. Sometimes I've even said, okay, two purple, two blue, one yellow. Or I'll have different color combinations on the board and that's how I group them. Um, but it makes it very interesting and it keeps them guessing. Like they never know how these bracelets work out. But I've done that so much with them that now they just get a bracelet and they go sit down because it doesn't matter what plan they devise, Mrs. Smalls' plan is always better. But anyway... Um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm tired. It is Friday. We have been back in school since Tuesday. I even feel like answering the phone. I'm so tired. One moment. Small's world. Hey, I'm coming back. I'm coming up there. All right, bye.